mean that just for the record, please. First, I would like to thank Commissioner Slaughter, Commissioner Evans, and um, Commissioner Powell for attending the Federal Trail uh, FERC meeting at the Scope meeting the other night. We do appreciate your participation and your wanting to learn more about the process. Um, you know, Commissioner Marshall, um, you know, Commissioner Rangel, all of this, you helped you know, listen to our concerns, and we want to thank you for that. I do want to ask, I know there was a meeting of the attorneys between, I think, Coffin County, um, Doherty, and Lamb about trying to enact some ordinances that, unfortunately, if this pipeline does get implemented, that would help protect the citizens and ensure their safety during the construction. And I was just wondering if there would be any updates provided on that. Yes, ma'am, we'll be bringing some updates. Okay. Do you have a time frame on when that could be? And you know, is there a chance for citizens to maybe suggest other ideas that could be looked at? We certainly understand that this process is not in any way um, a subterfuge to try to stop the pipeline. At that point, it's coming. We just want to make sure that we are, you know, that things are done in a manner that's going to be less intrusive to the property owners as possible. Uh, also, I just have one other question as far as the concerns that the actual county has about the safety trail pipeline. If there's a way that those could be shared and um, if you plan to file those with FERC, um, you know, what manner in which to do it. I actually heard like this much of you on the radio this morning and I drove out of the, the area. I couldn't hear anything you were saying. So, you know, we would love to get a recap of that because we felt like, you know, there was very good information provided and I just broke out of the coverage zone of that radio station. Um, so those would be, you know, some of the concerns about, you know, exactly what what are the county's concerns per se? And yeah, you know, just want to reiterate is that I know there's nothing that as far as stopping the pipeline, but you know, this Florida is the one who's requesting this service. There are alternate uh, routes that could take it outside of Florida that could actually take it, you know, almost completely out of Florida as well. Um, I know we can't save the world, but there are certainly things that would mitigate it coming through Georgia altogether. Also, some pressure on that company to certainly look at the reroute that we're suggesting to give them full consideration. My son spoke with one of their employees last night, and you talk about, you know, requesting that they're respectful to the citizens. He told my son that I was the headliner in their meetings every day, and um, that there was no way that this pipeline wasn't going through, and your mom just needs to quit. So I don't consider that very respectful. <coughs> and you know, I think we should have an opportunity to share our concerns in any format. It certainly needs to be respectful, and I think we've done that. So that was a little discouraging to think that there hasn't been growth at SST in their treatment of the citizens. So thank you for your time, and um, you know, love to get a recap of the show this morning. Yes, thank you.